I have no sympathy whatsoever for the movie industry for piracy. And before I get started, I just want to quickly say, fuck you Labour and fuck you Liberal for passing draconian stupid laws like mandatory data retention and site blocking. And thank you Greens for standing up at least against some of them. But anyways, on to subject. I don't have sympathy for the movie industry, and the reason is this. The movie industry has never been fair to its customer base. It never has been. Many movies, for example on Netflix, if you live in Australia, are region restricted. If you live really anywhere off the United States, you're going to see regional restriction after regional restriction. These companies simply don't care about providing a good service. Pirate Bay doesn't have any regional restrictions and it's easier to get content of a vast variety. If you want to watch something like My Little Pony or whatever on, you know, T on Foxtel, you're going to have to wait a really long time to actually get an up-to-date episode. If you want to watch something like uh, South Park on Foxtel, you're more likely than not going to be watching something like Season 13 or something really, really old. You're not really going to get up-to-date episodes and you're going to have to wait absolutely ages before you can actually get access to, you know, a new member of the series. You know, it really is frustrating, and it really is. I really can't have sympathy for the movie industry because they're still applying things like region locking. They're not willing to modify their behavior or make content easier to access. The games industry learned and adapted, but the movies industry just won't do the same, and they're playing victim because of it. I have no sympathy for the movie industry, and no sympathy for what happens to them when it comes to piracy because they just won't change. They simply won't. They make it harder for legitimate customers to get their products, and, you know, services like Pirate Bay are simply better than all of the other paid services in existence. You have exclusivity and all kinds of other money-gouging fucking measures put in place by, you know, media companies that it really does you know, make piracy a better alternative to actually paying for things, and it makes it easier. The best way, in my opinion, to eliminate piracy permanently is to make things like, you know, Netflix better. Put more content on Netflix and make it cheaper. Stop it with all this regional restrictions and all this other crap, because quite frankly, the industry the movie industry deserves what it's currently fucking getting because it just will not modify its behavior. Netflix is only now just talking about removing regional restrictions in Australia. Only just now. And it's 2015 and the movie industry has been around for hundreds of fucking years and they cannot and will not adapt or change. You know, none of these companies are willing to change and they complain that they're getting, you know, burned because of it. It, it's just really insane and insulting how these companies just will not change for the 21st century. They will not adapt or make their service better. They'll just keep doing precisely the same thing and complain that it's not working. It's like a kid walking into a wall complaining that, you know, it hurts. And he won't change anything. I mean, this entire industry is just crap. And quite frankly, it deserves to have its content pirated and to go bankrupt, and to be replaced by an actual industry that gives a fuck about its customers, and actually, you know, makes that content available to them easily. I would pay $80 for Netflix if I could get access to all of the movies I could, I fucking, you know, if I could get access to all the movies I want. I'd pay for it just so I could watch Stargate SG-1 all over again. But no, it's region locked to shit, and... The movie industry just will not change. There's a lot of content you just can't get on Netflix. And, you know, a lot of these movie companies just are not willing to do anything to improve their situation. All they are currently really doing is passing laws to try and bring down pirate sites. You know, even though it's probably going to provoke people to actually write better software to get around all of these blocks that governments are putting into place. I mean, the government is empowering these people to do absolutely nothing to improve, you know, like, especially the Australian government, it's doing absolutely nothing to push these companies to actually improve their services. I mean, the Australian government gave up on the car industry, but it's not willing to push the fucking movie industry to improve at all. It's really just, you know, infuriating, really.
I mean, this industry can deal with this problem just by being, quite frankly, better than it currently is. It can get rid of some of its exclusivity and region locking and delays and waits and all these things and make content easier to access. But these companies just won't. They won't improve even if people give them ideas on how they can do it. They won't change, they won't think outside of the box, or try and make the experience better for customers. You know, quite frankly here, pirate sites have a better experience, you know, and are easier to use than most of the sites out there I'm hearing about that distribute media. You know, there's a larger variety on Pirate Bay than there is on Netflix in Australia, and Netflix, Warner Brothers, or any other companies aren't willing to change that. And that's really why things like pirate sites are popular, because they are quite frankly just better than paid services. They outperform them by virtue of having a larger fucking, you know, array of content. And that's why they're popular. And that's why people are going to invent different technologies to get around all of this mandatory data retention bullshit and all of these, you know, copyright suits that they get. Technology is going to get better to make this type of stuff easier. And sooner or later, with cryptography, it's going to be impossible to figure out who's sending what to who. And quite frankly, I'll help out with actually making that happen. These are just my opinions, you know, the movie industry hasn't been really fair to its customers and it's not been willing to improve, so I have a hard time actually, you know, having sympathy for it. I mean, the car industry in Australia wasn't willing to improve and the government's cut off its funding. And, you know, it's not willing to do the same with the fucking movie industry. Since when do those since when does the movie industry have preference over the car industry or other industries? It seems really rather strange. Those are just my thoughts on really why I just don't have a lot of sympathy for the movie industry and why I quite frankly think that the the sooner that you actually have some people who understand the modern world the better because you know they're not treating their customers fairly and I just can't have a lot of sympathy for them. That's all guys, I'll um, post some videos on some more interesting stuff later on, but if you like these type of rants then you can perhaps leave a like or a comment or whatever. If you dislike them please leave a dislike and if you want to comment please leave a detailed reason as to why you disagree or find that my videos are inadequate, insufficient, bad or wrong or whatever. That's all guys, see ya.